All right, everyone, welcome to a Pokemon X and Y DS Wi-Fi battle versus Jacob Siegel. Here we go, and Happy New Year, everyone. Happy 2014. Hope this year will be a lot better than 2013. It didn't really go out too well, but yeah, make a misplay here. <laughs> go for Thunderbolt. I actually completely forgot that uh, Ghost is now normally effective against Steel and not uh, not very effective. <laughs> Like it was last gen. So I do it again. Go for Thunderbolt. As I said, I forgot. And my Gengar dies to two pursuits. So yeah, I got to remember that. But I am doing the Battle Mason a lot. So I can actually figure out these typings and all the new Pokemon and all the new stuff. So kind of neat. But yeah, if you do need help on the game, do the Battle Mason and uh, the Battle something or another. And Lumio City, whatever that's called. They really do help you. And competitive play. So he's going to switch out into his Sylveon as I go for the Surf. Yeah, not doing too much because Sylveon is very specially defensive. Going to switch out now into my Aegislash because he's a physical attacker. And a Steel-type so he can take those Fairy-type moves, which he does decide to go for. He goes for the Moon Blast. Not doing a thing at all to Aegislash. Look at that. Like, nothing. <laughs> So I have a couple options here. I can either go for the sword stance predicting a switch or I can go for the iron head right off and just kill it <laughs> if I want. He's going to switch out into his talon flame here. I do decide to go for the sword stance on the switch. Now I'm really hoping that I can live a flare blitz just to ensure it though. I'm going to go for the king's shield to lower his attack. So I and he does decide to go for the Flare Blitz, as I predicted. So his attack will be lowered. Now I know for a fact that I can live a Flare Blitz from him. I have plus two, thanks to my Swords Dance I had on the Switch. And he's going to switch knowing that his attack is lowered and he can't really touch me. Out into a Sylveon, maybe as Death Fodder, I'm guessing. And I decide to go for... Oh, <clears throat> Sorry about that. Go for the Shadow Snake. Uh, just in case he did decide to go in and uh, go for the Flare Blitz. Just to see how much damage he could get off. So, uh, wow, that actually did quite a lot. But I am going to go for the King's Shield. Uh, just in case he got anything funny up his sleeve. <laughs> Maybe I can mix Sylveon. I don't know. <laughs> his attack actually does uh, fall here, though. So uh, he's going to gain a little leftovers recovery here. And I'm just going to kill him off with the Iron Head. Super effective against fairy types, obviously. And he is going to die. So he can bring in his Talon Flame now and go for the Flare Blitz. And I think actually he uh, smartens up here and predicts me to go for the King's Shield this turn. So he actually decides to go for the swords dance. So yeah, that kind of messes me up. I'm uh, not um, in too good of a position here because uh, that flare blitz is going to do a lot of damage. And well, yeah, it's going to kill me. I honestly thought I could live a plus two flare blitz. I don't know. Should have went for the shadow snake, but. Uh, I just kind of failed there. Go into my own Talon Flame here. Go for the Acrobatics, hoping to kill. And not even close. <laughs> He's going to get his Citrus Berry recovered. Uh, health recovered. And I, I was the one to tell him about the Citrus Berry and how it's so good on Talon Flame. And he actually decides to go for the Swords Dance. So now he has plus four. I go for another uh, Acrobatics. Still doesn't kill him. Obviously, since he had a such a spare recovery, he just has to go for the Brave Bird. It's going to kill me, but he is going to take lots of recoil damage, and that will kill him off. So, thank goodness for me, I was able to take him out in a way, and now go into my Lucario as he goes out into his own <laughs> Lucario. Pretty funny that we go out into the same Pokemon. I'm going to Mega Evolve here into the Mega Lucario. Looks so cool. Mega Lucario is one of the greatest Megas. Oh, he's going to Mega Evolve too. Kind of funny. So it's really who has the better speed here, or if we have the same speed, who wins the speed tie. I go 
I win the speed tie and go for the close combat and kill him. Um, pretty sure he did actually say he was running Jolly as well. So, yep, I won the speed tie there and was able to kill him. Thank goodness, or else that would have been really bad. He goes into his Gengar now, and I decide to go for the crunch. It is stronger than my bullet punch move, and I'm faster than it, but he does have the focus sash here. So he will be able to live and go for the psychic and do massive damage to my Lucario. Just barely hang on there, but he's going to switch out, uh, hoping that he can save his Gengar for later and goes into his Greninja, predicting the ball of punch so he can take that fairly well. So uh, he's he knows that his Greninja is faster than my Lucario, so I got to switch out of here. I, mean, I know that <laughs> he's faster than my Lucario, so I got to switch and go into my Greninja. Uh, he uh, thought I would stay in, goes for the extra sensory. Thank goodness that I um, went into my Greninja because I don't take any damage from his extra sensory. And now I can go for the Surf. Since he is the psychic type, since he went for extra sensory with protein ability, he will die. Now he's going to go into a Scizor and I'm just going to Surf and kill it. Don't know why he didn't go for Bullet Punch. Maybe he doesn't have it. I'm not entirely sure what he was thinking there. Now he's going to go out into his Gengar. And my uh, Greninja has the priority Shadow Snake. This was a earlier game where I didn't get Dark Pulse. So I'm able to outspeed and kill his Gengar. So everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, the like button. If you want to see some more, subscribe. See you guys later.